Hey guys, welcome back to the Judo Way of Life. I'm David. Today we're just gonna go through uh, a couple of different exercises, well, different squatting variations you can do with the kettlebell. So this isn't really gonna be much of a workout, it's just hopefully like to give you some different ideas, um, different ways of squatting with a kettlebell. Now, we're just gonna change how we're holding the kettlebell and that's just gonna have a different impact on our body and we can mix it up a little bit to, uh, you know, cause more ways of um, instability and, and making sure that we're, you know, keeping our core engaged to, to be able to stabilize when we're doing the lift. Uh, so first off, you're gonna make sure you can just do a normal uh, air squat without the kettlebell. So you have your feet just press short width apart, feet pointing out, and we're just gonna come down nice and easy. Uh, if you can get some, Full depth, all the better. Uh, but if you can only get sort of down to 90 degrees, uh, you can do some work on obviously your mobility. Uh, but regardless of the, the depth, you just want to be making sure that you are um, doing it in a, in a strong and stable position. Um, and I want you to feel comfortable just doing a normal air squat without a kettlebell. Uh, so what we're going to do to start with is we're just going to be doing uh, a goblet squat. So if that's a traditional goblet squat, you pick it up by the top. We're just going to hold the kettlebell by the horns. And again, same feet position. I'm gonna be coming down and up. Now, I'm gonna keep the kettlebell slightly in front of you, not too far. My elbows are tucked in. And I'm keeping the kettlebell, obviously, slightly in front of me, so it will be pulling it forward. So you're gonna make sure I've got a nice, uh, strong lower back, I'm not getting unbalanced, and, and I've got my core, and I'm keeping my upper body nice and tight. Now from there, we're gonna challenge that position a little bit more. So we're going from the sides, we're gonna hold and lift our elbows up, we've got our thumbs in, and again, ooh, we're gonna squat. There you see, to readjust the balance there. So this time, see from the side, a little bit more in front. The kettlebell is going to be trying to pull us here. So we're gonna work really hard to keep this Nice and tight. So we don't lose our balance. Next, we're gonna flip the kettlebell up. We're gonna hold it underneath, this time the weight at the top. So it's gonna be nice and stable in our forearms and in our wrists. Be able to keep the kettlebell in a strong position. Again, starting in front of our body, just going up and down. Nice simple sort of squat. Like I said before, we're just really just changing the position of the kettlebell to change how the weight is distributed and how we have to control the weight. And then we're gonna move on to a single-sided offset. So I'll bring it up into our rack position. And then from here, doing our squat, use your arm to keep your balance. Keep the kettlebell nice and strong here. So again, try not to let the weight pull you forwards. And then this time, we're trying to make, the, make sure the weight doesn't pull us down to one side. So here, and again, with this one, make sure you do both sides. You don't want to be uneven. Uh, the last one we're gonna do, Bring the kettlebell up. We're going to be looking through. Try and bring our arms together here and we'll squat. Ooh. Again, it's just quite an awkward position. We haven't got much control of the kettlebell, so it's very mobile. So we're going to make sure that we're keeping everything nice and tight. So, going through traditional. Uh, two variations uh, of different ways of holding it. Uh, your offsets, what's that? Four different variations. Now, these are the only four variations you can do. Uh, you can play around with from here, and how far you hold it out. Up to you. But if you experiment with changing the position of the kettlebell, holding it differently, uh, and just feeling the effect it has on your body, uh, it's going to make it a little bit more interesting than just sticking to your standard goblet squats. Uh, so have a little bit of fun with that, experiment with those different options 
Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you again next time. Cheers guys.